Ah, uh, yes, it's a good morning. It's Mike Sorg. It's at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. You can subscribe, subscribe to the Good Morning Podcast on iTunes or YouTube now. Um, and, of course, this is the nexus of two great but unimportant holidays. I'm, of course, talking about the uh, Hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day, where we, uh, once a year, pretend that we like the person that we're with. And, uh, and of course, Friday the 13th. Yes, I count that. I count that. I mean, I think it's a significant day. Um, if we can have all these days based on religion, we can have this day based on superstition as well. And plus, I'm really liking the Friday the 13th uh, Jason Voorhees jokes I'm seeing on Facebook today. So that's kind of nice. Um, but uh, it, it is kind of interesting. <laughs> it is kind of very interesting. Um, to myself, you know, spoilers. Um, I'm hoping to do a little bit something at lunch here to uh, surprise my sweetie uh, as we have some uh, double date plans tomorrow. Um, so... So, uh, but then it's like that kind of like, no, I should stay in the house. No, I shouldn't do that. And I know for me, um, there's been like, there's been definitely that stigma. It does seem like whenever I venture out or whenever I had the day job, it was just like, it's Friday 13th. It's so bad. I don't know if it's psychological, what it is, um, but it is, you know, and yes, it's a superstition. Um, you know, I'm sure it has some kind of, uh. Uh, a base somewhere, and actually, I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia while we're going here. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Friday the 13th. I'd be curious. It's going to give me nothing but Jason Voorhees. Oh, the website. There we go. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um, but I don't know. Valentine's Day is a day that uh, kind of has fallen by the wayside. And we're like, eh, let's go to eat park. We'll have dinner. You know, whatever. We'll get a smiley heart cookie you know i mean we never gone too 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 out of the way get some flowers get some chocolates you know um but it's uh it, it's an unfortunate thing and i and i i feel i feel concerned that uh especially we don't take the time for these in in our busy lives um between you know at least in my situation um although it, it, apparently it is very significant for black friday not black friday but friday the 13th in some some instances, because according to Wikipedia, Friday the 13th, 13th, also known as Black Friday in some countries, I'm sure that's changing with the recent uh, day after Thanksgiving marketing, um, is considered an unlikely day in a Western superstition. It occurs, da 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 Gregorian calendars. No written evidence for a Friday the 13th superstition between, between, uh, before the 19th century, and the superstition only gained widespread distribution in the 20th century. Thank you, Jason Voorhees Films. Um... <laughs> And of course, it's the usual uh, 13, um, you know, being an unlucky number. And, you know, why Friday? You know, <laughs> that's, that's what I don't get. Um, but, oh, wow. Uh, I didn't realize the number 13 is connected with the crucifixion of Christ, for instance. But, um, well, there you go. There you go. Tuesday the 13th. <laughs> Apparently, the Spanish are afraid of Tuesday the 13th. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyways um wikipedia I, I gotta love it right um anyways back around uh valentine's day uh yeah it's a superstitious holiday and you know what kills it too is the oh let's go do something nice well guess what you're not getting a reservation you know so you have to be a little more creative i think um it just led to some of that in the plan making as well you know um or get out get us get out of city oh my god you know any any restaurant uh recently looking for restaurants with uh with, with chachi for our double date and they were just like oh this looks fancy yeah good luck if it looks fancy good luck what we should do you should do an anti-valentine's day and instead of taking them to the fancy restaurant take them to the dive bar and just light a candle some bar food because nobody's i mean I, I imagine nobody's doing that so much right right so Plus, there's a stigma of the poor, poor people that um, that don't have a significant other. Um, so I'm not forgetting about you. I'm not forgetting about you. Um, and I've seen some solutions to this uh, conversed, uh, mostly on Yik Yak, uh, to be honest. And um, um, like some of them have been like, oh, well, make it a friend's day, you know, or make it a such and such day, you know, um, you know, everybody single get together and uh, play some Call of Duty, you know, um, you know, so you're at least not alone sulking to yourself, you know, you're with other dudes that are uh, that are, you know, or dudettes that are, um, um, you know, in the same situation. But maybe that's why you're in your situation. Hmm. 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 
I also wonder if there's any events out there. Um, the the anti Valentine's Day, uh, like I don't know, speed dating or something. I don't know why speed dating is in my head. Ever since we did that yik, yik yak video, the the concept fascinates me. Right, um, I consider myself very lucky that I've been um, not single uh, pretty much since high school, um, and uh, not had to deal with that kind of stuff. Um, so I mean, and it just it just fascinates me. Um, <clears throat> But uh, anyways, uh, with that, <laughs> so what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, let me know. A little short one today. I'm going to take it easy here going out the door on Friday. Um, please check out our other uh, Mayhem Minutes and our, our awesome cast bites. I got a bit to say on, on those as well. Um, but uh, yeah, what are you doing for th Valentine's Day? You got any uh, surprises you can reveal? Do you have a non-disclosure agreement on your Valentine because uh, she doesn't know yet? what your plans are uh let me know in the comments to this video as well on the twitter i'm at sorgatron of course and you can also uh subscribe to um good morning with michael sorg on youtube and the itunes yes and let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover um uh hit me up on uh at sorgatron uh, hashtag at good morning and um let me know you know it, it, any topics you want me to cover in this in pittsburgh -ese in uh, technology video production or anything like that uh please let me know i am looking to kind of expand this out expand out some other ideas um and uh and, and and try to think outside of the box a little bit for this one too so uh please do that so until next time have a good morning this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.